Hey guys, so first of all, I just wanna say that if you enjoy this video, please make sure you subscribe. I add videos, gosh, maybe a couple of times a week, um, just depending on what kind of week I'm having. If you would also give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and leave a comment, that would be great. And of course, spreading the word to other art teachers or um, homeschool mamas or anybody who loves to share the joy of creating with children, make sure you let them know so that we can spread the word. Anyway, we're in kind of an unusual place right now we're in the school library and the reason we're here is because last year on the last week of school we had field day and in my room we do field day a little bit differently instead of operating a snow cone machine or watching the kids do sidewalk chalk all day long which um, instead of doing that I do field day a little bit differently I have the kids come into my room and we do some crazy art making I have several art making stations they can go to one of them being a giant banner that I draw with bingo dauber and it says like welcome back and hooray you're here those we paint in and then get hung up when we go back to school so I have that as a blog post make sure you pop by my blog and check that out the other station that kids can go to are giant canvas paintings so that's what I'm about to share with you these giant canvases along with some letters that my students work together to paint were a collaborative for the school library they finally got hung up and framed they look amazing so I'm excited to take you on a little tour and share with you what they look like I'm also going to explain to you how we went about doing it it's super fun super easy and you might want to give it a shot so let's start the tour what so what actually got the ball rolling on this whole field day thing and doing art in my room was this sign. You've probably seen it before on my blog or my YouTube channel. Um, and we did it as a collaborative. I drew Johnson Elementary out with black paint. Some kids, as they would trickle in, they would paint in the different shapes. Other groups, as they came in, they added patterns and designs. When I was finished with this painting or when the kids were finished with it, I didn't know what to do with it and it just so happened my librarian walked in she saw it and she said oh my gosh I love this so much can we have it for the library I said sure and then she got this wild idea that she wanted more paintings just like this for the library as well as letters of the alphabet so that's exactly what we made I will show you purchased canvases um, one for every letter of the alphabet and also for the numbers one through 10, because those are the numbers and um, letters that she wanted for the library. Then I took the canvases and I drew the letters on the canvases before field day. So another station option that the kids could go to, so they could either go to the banners, they could go to the giant paintings that like the Johnson Elementary I just showed you, we actually did more and I'll share those with you too, or they could go to the letters or numbers. When they got there, their instructions were this, you can either use all warm or all cold on the letter. And so one group would come in and just work on the letter. And then as another group would file in, here's another one of those paintings we made. As another group would file in, they were to paint the background with the opposite color family. And as more and more classes came, they were to continue to add more dashes, more designs, more texture to the letters until the painting was completely filled with beautiful texture um, and lines. And this was actually a follow-up to a lesson that a lot of my older students had already done, learning about Jasper Johns. So for them, they totally understood the concept. When the paintings were finished, I just went back and outlined them with a color so that the letters were a little bit easier to read because um, I loved the way they looked when they were kind of like a little bit more painterly, but for the library's sake, they needed to be outlined a little bit. So I went and outlined them. them all framed. So here they hang and they just look fabulous hanging above this cabinet and sh the librarian is so excited. We also had stations where the kids could work on these giant canvases. So we have a fiction. We of course have the Johnson Elementary one. We have a one over here that the kids worked on. I mean, look how happy it looks. I love them so much. Um, one that says Maker's Space, and the other one says Johnson Elementary Library. We have one more and it says nonfiction. It's just on the other side of the room. So I just wanted to take you on a little tour because if you're looking to do collaborative projects with your students, I can't recommend these enough. 
Granted, purchasing large scale canvases is not cheap. Purchasing a bunch of canvases, canvas boards isn't cheap either. However, you could simply use mat board. The kids I know are gonna be so excited when they see all of these hung, all of their work from field day in the library. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this tour and I hope it inspires you and the small art humans that you get to hang out with every day in your life. Thanks guys.